If you watched my dough video from the other day, I had to show you the finished product. The best pizza you will ever have can be made in your home oven. After resting your dough in the fridge for 72 hours, you'll notice all the fermentation at the bottom of the dough. Let the dough sit out in room temperature for 2 hours. If you give the dough a slight poke and it doesn't spring back, your dough is ready. The smooth top of your dough will be the bottom crust of your pizza. This will make sliding off the peel way easier. Dip both sides of your dough in flour. Press out your dough and build a small crust. Before you pick up your dough, do a very light dusting of flour on your peel. No matter if you use semolina, cornmeal, panko breadcrumbs, if you use too much, it's gonna burn. Toss your pizza to 14 or 15 inches and lay the dough down on the smooth side. For my sauce, I simply use Altacacina tomatoes ran through a food mill with salt. You know you put enough down when the dough just peeks through the sauce. Load it up with Locatelli Pecorino and an even layer of Grande Mozzarella. Give the peel a shake to make sure your dough isn't sticking, then pull it back to a perfect circle. I preheated my pizza stone on the bottom rack at 550 for one hour. Slide the pizza in the oven and after 5 minutes, give it a 180 turn. This pizza was in the oven for a total of 11 minutes. I like all my pizzas well done, but if you like it a little lighter, go 9 minutes. I promise you the 3 day rise is worth the wait. The result is a no-flop pizza and a crust that tastes like the best Italian bread you ever had.